Hey everybody, in this video, Bethany and I are going to be showing you how to create this key holder. For this project, you'll need adhesive spray, snap fasteners, snap fastener pliers, a shank, a 7x7 inch piece of felt, a 7x7 inch piece of tearaway stabilizer, two 4x6 inch pieces of leather, and a half inch by 7 inch piece of leather or vinyl. We'll begin by spraying adhesive to one of the side of the felt pieces, and then attach your tearaway stabilizer. Make sure it's smooth so there are no lines. Now we can hoop it with the felt face down and stabilizer face up. Using tacky embroidery spray, lightly tack one of your 4 by 6 inches pieces of leather or vinyl. Now you can place your hoop in the machine and stitch it out until we reach the last tack down line. Now remove the hoop from your machine and lay it upside down on your table. Now use some spray adhesive to the back of your other 4x6 inch piece of leather or vinyl to the back side of your stitching. We can then return the hoop to the machine and stitch the final tack down line. Now remove the hoop from your machine and remove your design from the hoop. Tear away the stabilizer and then trim around the outline of your design. You'll now have a pocket. Take your half inch by seven inch piece of liner or vinyl and attach a stud fastener to the end of this long piece and then a socket snap fastener a little beside it. Be sure to give enough room for a keychain to attach in there. We need to put this long piece to the key holder so we found it easiest by using painter's tape at the end of the leather or vinyl and pushing it through with a chopstick. Pull the piece so it almost comes out of the smaller hole, but it's still in the pocket. Attach a stud snapper fastener to the very end of your long piece. See where that lines up at the top of your key holder. Attach a socket snap fastener, trim around the snap if you wish. Now this is optional, but you can add another socket snap fastener to the very top of the smaller hole to ensure that your keys will never not be attached to your key holder. Your key holder is finished. Apply your keys to the double-ended snap. Your keys can be pulled into the fob or you can attach it as a keychain. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed creating your own key holder. <laughs>